By August 15th, the math must add up. Whether it will add up to an integrated and comprehensive transportation vision for the region is another matter. The Transportation Investment Act requires the 10-county Metro Atlanta region to submit its $6.1 billion draft project list by August 15th. This week, the Atlanta Regional Transportation Roundtable Executive Committee has worked to assemble a draft list by that deadline. And while the math may seem tedious to some, transit advocates are hopeful that come Monday, the Roundtable Executive Committee will signal a clear message that the region is serious about transit. Still, there are challenges to developing that vision. Elected officials from Atlanta's ex-urban ring are under pressure to deliver projects for their constituencies. I think it would be easier if we started with the counties that are non-transit counties on roadway projects because then you're going to come down to five counties that are split between transit and roadway. Even as transit advocates tout transit's ability to ease congestion and promote economic development throughout the region, residents in the outlying counties still may want to see a defined benefit in the form of new or improved roads. During this week's executive committee meetings, side conversations among the full roundtable members have been prominent and should continue into the weekend. August 15th deadline should also provide hints about emerging alliances alliances which will not only be essential to determining the exact nature of the final list due October 15th, but also critical to selling a vision that appeals to a broad enough range of voters next year. Complicating matters even further, a DeKalb County delegation has emerged this week with their demand for enhanced transit along I-20 into South DeKalb. According to several members of this delegation, residents of DeKalb County have paid into the system for 30 years without receiving a full transit benefit. Two penny to cab citizens we are. We want the I-20 East Corridor. Support from DeKalb County will be critical to ensuring the success of next year's referendum. Anything less and you rule out equity or balance. DeKalb County is known at the ballot box and for you passing TIA would be a challenge. Even if the roundtable delivers a strong list that communicates near-term relief and long-term vision, still no one is certain whether voters are up to the task of passing next year's referendum. But if you ask transit advocates, a victory in next year's referendum is the logical sum of a transit equation.